Kodo P idiom project. The, there are examples of what an idiom is in this folder. So for example, hard on my sleeve, caught red-handed, apple up my eye, and so on, like lend me your ear. So what you're gonna be doing is combining two to three images to create a new idiom. So if you're in Thursday's folder and you go to the actual assignment, okay, the first page is gonna be the instructions. Okay, so again, you can use Photoshop if you have it, but no, we've been using PhotoP in class, so PhotoP.com. All right, and then you're gonna be creating 10 idioms. So here's a list of a bunch of different idioms. So first thing first, I would look up all the idioms and see which 10 I want to do. So, you know, Baker's Dozen, Against a Clock, All Greek to Me, um, Good Samaritan, Hit the Books, Hold Your Horses. I mean, there's a bunch, a bunch, a bunch um, of different idioms here. If you actually open up your project for the idioms, you're going to see a slideshow. So this is where you're going to put your work at. All right, this first slide right here is just a sample slide, so you know exactly what your slide should look like. So I have the title of the idiom. I have the three Im images that I'm going to use for this project, and then actually the final image that I, when I created the actual idiom in Photoshop or Photo P. So again, I'm gonna open up Photo P. I'm gonna close out of all these because I already just did this one. And I am going to bring those three images in. So I'm gonna say File Open grab those three images and say open and so now I have the three tabs here of your images so again you can use any selection tool I'm just gonna use the magic wand for right now I'm gonna click once on the black and hit delete on my keyboard I'm gonna go to my pig I'm gonna use that magic wand tool. I'm gonna click on the white and hit delete okay that deletes that white background so I'm gonna now drag my pig into the sky and I need to make it smaller obviously if you don't see these boundary boxes, make sure you have the transform controls checked so then that you can make it smaller. And then I'm gonna go over here to my wings file and I'm gonna drag my wings into the sky. And I would probably fiddle this with a little bit better, but since we're just doing a demo right now, I'm gonna call it good. I'm going to crop this because I don't necessarily need the entire background. And then I would say file export jpeg save and then that downloads it now if you're in the middle of a project right and you're not done with it but you need to keep your layers then you need to save it as a psd so you can come back later and open up this file so that it will have the layers oh now i'm going to launch in photoshop go away all right, so that's an example of the one project. You're going to be doing 10 of these, okay? It's all ready to go. You'll just go in here and type in the idiom that title that you end up doing, put your images over here and your final image over here, just like I have in the example slide. On Monday, I'm going to do a check, progress check, so I'll open this up on your files and see where you're at because this isn't due until Wednesday of next week. And remember, next week is the end of the grading period, so please make sure that you get everything... Um, turned in and caught up before before Wednesday. Wednesday is the last day to take grades for me. Uh, I gotta get those inputted and finalized and you know since it's all new process I, you never know how long it's gonna take so Wednesday will be the last day for makeup and it'll be the last day for this project. Alright come to Zoom if you end up having questions this week um, and make sure you keep doing that attendance check that's important.